so this is another problem um, that I just wanted to break down for you guys. And I want to admit, I had to reread this problem a few times. And it took me a minute in order to get even what they were asking. So if you're reading this question and you're a little bit confused, I'm here for you. And I'm just going to explain it the best way that I can, the way that made sense to me. So it says, if there are 2.2 pounds in one kilogram, how many pounds are there in X kilograms? So because I'm seeing two different units of measurements, I'm assuming that this is going to be a proportion. A proportion just means two fractions that are set equal to one another. So because I know that it's going to be two fractions, I know that my proportion is going to have to have the same unit of measurement on the top and the same unit of measurement on the bottom. So I'm going to put pounds on the top and then I'm going to put kilograms on the bottom. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my two fractions. So it's 2.2 pounds, so 2.2 on the top. And then it says is equal to one kilogram. So we're going to put one kilogram on the bottom. And we have our first fraction already created. Then it says how many pounds are there. So then we don't know how many pounds there are. I'm going to put a little question mark in X kilograms. So again, kilograms go on the bottom. So I just have to figure out what that question mark is going to be. So the easiest way that I was able to do this problem, because I again, I tried it multiple ways, is to say this fraction, whatever this fraction is equal to, should be equal to whatever this fraction is equal to. So anytime you have a fraction 22 over 1, it's the same as saying 2.2 divided by 1. 2.2 divided by 1 is just 2.2. So if this first fraction is just equal to 2.2, then this fraction, when it's complete, should also be equal to 2.2. So I just got to figure out how I can make this fraction equal to 2.2. So I'm going to set up 2.2 is equal to question mark over x. So 2.2 is equal to question mark over x. I want to get this question mark by itself. Sorry, I want to get this question mark by itself. So that means I have to get rid of the next. Anytime I'm trying to get rid of a denominator, which is the x, the x is on the bottom of the fraction. Anytime I'm trying to get rid of a denominator, I can just multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. So because the denominator is x, I can multiply both sides of the equation by x. And then once I multiply both sides of the equation by x, the x's cancel each other out. And I'm just left with the question mark by itself. Bring down the equal sign. And then on the left side, I have 2.2 times x, which is 2.2x. So we just found out that the missing value for that question mark is 2.2x. And remember, that question mark was representing how many pounds would be in X kilograms. So the answer would be B, 2.2 X. I know that was pretty confusing. I know that was a lot. I know I was addressing a lot of different um, tricks and tips, but that was the best way for me to explain it. Simply just figure out what is this fraction equal to? And so this fraction should also be equal to that and figure out what do I have to put as a numerator in order to make that both fractions equal to one another. I hope that was a good way of explaining it, guys. I'm trying my best.